Hi everyone out in YouTube land. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today is uh, the 14th of May, 2024. Ah, having a cup of coffee, listening to the rain. And we're taking a look here at some knives I got from 511. I actually saw this knife on uh, Birdshot 4's channel. They were at a knife counter somewhere, and the guy behind the counter was wearing this, and I was like, man, that thing is cool. I've never had a karambit or any knife this style before, so I was like, hey, let me take a look at it. Let me f search it up and find it. So I ended up looking it up on you know, 5.11's uh, website and finding it, the Doug Markaita Talon. Um, I thought it was pretty nifty. Doug Markaita, D2 Steel, made in Taiwan. Um, you know, this is actually smooth, even though it looks like it's got some texture. The texture is on the inside, it's not on the outside. So it is completely smooth, but it is nice, clear. It's kind of cool to see the skeletonized handle. So I picked this puppy up. It was about a hundred bucks, roughly. Um, and they will occasionally go on sale and there is a sale that ends today. So if you end up catching this video and want one, I think they're about 75 bucks today. Um, I would definitely pick one up for 75. And you know, I wish I had known that 511 did frequent sales, but I did not. And um, I also got this knife while I was shopping for this one because I just, I thought this was really nifty. And I think I paid about 20 bucks for this one. I can't remember exactly, but um, it is also on sale currently. It's the 511 Heron. Uh, it's like a last ditch emergency kind of shank. Um, and I wrapped mine with grip tape, but it's just got a skeletonized handle under there. Um, yeah, here you go, 511. And I guess it's supposed to kind of resemble a heron beak, which is pretty cool. I, and the eyeball, you know, okay. Made in China, this one. Um, very pointy. I mean, kind of a weird grip, which is why I put the uh, grip tape on it. Very shanky. Um, so I haven't carried either of these. These are both brand new. Just wrap this one up. Um, I have not carried this knife, but I have put it on a belt before and it does carry very nicely. This little rig system, just push up and um, so far it's it's been fine. This little, it's very thin though. Very, very thin. So, I mean, it's for like a paper thin. I mean, I don't even know if you can um, I'm not exactly sure what belt you can get that on, um, but I, I believe you could get it on like a, a tactical style nylon belt. But yeah, um, I haven't really used a knife like this and I don't really know if I would want to. Um, it's, it's very weird in the hand to me. Um, the pinky thing is weird. Everything about, a, about this thing is kind of weird, but it's called the Talon and it is kind of like a, I guess a claw and um yeah i should probably test it out because i have no idea you know but it is a little weird if your pinky is not in that hole which i mean i guess that's how they're supposed to be i'm not exactly sure but let's use it a little bit and maybe um i could see it being cool uh, i definitely like the look of it at the least at the least it looks cool um and i like that clear plastic handle and for 75 bucks, I would say, sure. Uh, I, I definitely overpaid if they're selling it for that much of a discount. Um, they should just lower the price and keep it at 75 bucks because I don't think this is worth $100.
Can confirm it sits pretty well on the belt. Easy access right here. I don't know if it's for offhand, but this is right handed. Very smooth and actually kind of comfortable. Um, you, you don't notice it. Uh, that clip works better than it than it looks like it would. But yeah. Pretty nice. So, in review of our 511 selection here, this Doug Markita Karambit, Doug Markita Talon, whatever you want to call it, I mean, some pros. I really like the sheath, how it rides on the belt. You can wear it on your waist, like um, where you would sit and it doesn't impede and you can still access it really well. So that sheath and how it carries is a super big pro. I really like that. So, I mean, I think it does really serve a great purpose as like, it, it could just be on you and you could forget about it and wear it comfortably versus a knife that hangs or even is in your pocket. This is gonna be really quick to access. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sharp blade, so it comes really, really sharp. It, you know, I mean, it, it's got a good feel to it. Um, I like it. I don't think it's worth $100. If you can catch it on sale for the 75 bucks, then it is going to be a good purchase, I think. Especially for a knife that you could just always carry on your belt, and it's a fixed blade. I will say it is not the best utility knife. It is not a great general use knife. Having tried to use it in the kitchen, it did not excel at cutting meat very well. Uh, comparatively speaking to some other blades that I've tried in the kitchen, this is not it. But, you know, in a last ditch emergency, like close, close situation, you could definitely get a slice out if you had to with this. And I guess that's its purpose is it's kind of a tactical, um, tactical tool. And I would say that's its only use. It is not a utility knife. It is not useful in the kitchen. It is and it honestly didn't really even cut the meat very well, um, in my opinion, comparatively speaking. But, you know, like I said, in a last ditch kind of emergency situation, you weren't maybe expecting, you could draw this thing really quickly and it's gonna hold securely in the hand, you know, with this ring. So you, you've got some good features there. It's a lightweight and one of the prime things that I've enjoyed about this is how it rides on your belt and the sheath. I thought it wouldn't be very good, but it's actually fantastic. Um, the Heron, I mean, this is just a shank. It's all it is. Probably a little overpriced for what it is, to be honest, but, you know, if you're looking for a backup shank, this, this could work. So, but the Talon, I'd say it's good. It's good. Um, I think those are about all my thoughts on it. It's, um, like I said, it's it's not a utility knife. It's not gonna do great for um, many tasks, but the ones that it's designed for, it should do. And I'm not gonna say it will do better or well um, in comparison to other things, but where I think it really shines is you can wear it very comfortably, forget it's on you and have something that you just always have on your belt and you're, you know, you've always got something at least. It's a good last ditch um, kind of knife if that's something you're in the market for. So those are kind of my final opinions. So if you can catch it on sale, I, I would recommend, I may choose something else for the hundred dollars if it were up to me um, to do again. I probably would not spend a hundred dollars on this again. Um, and it is the only Karambit I have uh, or, or this kind of style knife I have, and it will probably be my last. And 
that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having opinions and preferences. That is the freedom that uh, you are allowed to have. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.